Outdoor Adventures. Hey guys, it's Chuk here from Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Well, this is my dream rifle for 2024. This is the Marlin Dark Series 1895 45 70 and I, I couldn't be happier with it. There's this whole trend of making an old lever gun into more of a modern tactical firearm and you know ranger point precision kind of led the way in some respects and i am going to get some of their ammo quivers and stuff for this so marlin was really smart when they did this and i'm so excited that ruger safe rifle is now producing these and the first thing i checked for to see if they had a ruger thing under the the pistol grip but they got the marlin symbol there so that was pretty neat they did a lot of really cool things first of all they flatten this handguard right here and then they use torque screws on the side uh, just amazing how they match the color i was blown away they've got three different finishes they've got anodization on this handguard They've got black Cerakote on the rifle itself, and then they got nitride on this handle and the hammer, and then the Magpul polymer. I don't know if they Cerakote it or if it's just the black color, but they, it's seamless. It's matched so well that you can't even tell it's three different kinds of finishes. So really impressive. Of course, they got the rail on top and M-lock attachments. Now, I'm a little bit heartbroken because I'm going to use this for hunting. This is seven pounds. Seven pounds, so, you know, that's the weight of a standard hunting rifle. Now, in Alaska, we can't hunt with any kind of light or laser or anything, so I'm not going to tack this out too much. The most I'll put on it is some quivers and, of course, an optic. You talk about a great hunting rifle it's just even for bear defense while you're in camp 16.17 inch barrel it's just so handy it is extremely short i snapped this cheek weld piece on here uh, it comes with it off but you just snap it on which is nice uh, fairly accurate i will do another video to test the accuracy but i mean these are always accurate out to one 200 yards i was just hitting paper at 50 yards i got this silly red dot and i was getting a decent group i wasn't even i was just aiming for the paper itself and i you know was getting a good group for not even aiming i don't think you can beat this i've always said the 4570 is such a great round for bears here in alaska this is a tough ruger you can punish it it's just going to keep going it's got the tough marlin action that i really like there's just not much you don't love about this rifle. Fiber optic front sight, you got the ghost ring in the back. I am going to put probably a four power optic on here, maybe a LPVO that I think it'd be perfect for some river hunting, some bush hunting, just getting after bears, even caribou. You could push this out a couple hundred yards if you really wanted to, but what a great survival rifle. And then if you wanted, you could just you know, put all your tactical stuff on it, which I'm tempted to do, but I want to hunt with it. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to put some bullet quivers on there. Great rifle. The muzzle brake was a nice addition. It really helped tame the recoil and they have a really nice pad here that helped with the recoil too. One thing I noticed that they did is they made it look well, they have this cutout section in the stock and it, it really reminds me of the old Ruger paddle rifle stocks that they used back in the day, those old polymer ones. I, I think they did that on purpose, but so cool that they worked with Magpul. You really can't beat this. I am very excited about it. Um, I was kind of heartbroken uh, the day after I got this, though they announced the new Trapper with the Magpul furniture <laughs> and it's the matte stainless one and then it's got a thicker rifle stock with an opening to put shells in but that's going to be slightly heavier than this so I am glad I went with this but uh, that trapper is on my list too but yeah you just can't beat this let me know what you guys think I'll be doing some more videos on it compare it to the Henry just a great rifle let me know what you guys think it's true your friend in the field
Shoot out your adventures. Watch you go die every time.